guys, Rich Morris, we're at the house build. What I want to talk about is long range layout. When do you use a laser? When do you not need a laser? When you're talking ranges greater than 50 feet, you'd go to a rotary laser. Long range, more accuracy. When you look at obstructions on the job, when you're trying to do a traditional 345 or 30, 40, 50, as you can see around the job site, it's hard to get that full length square. So what you want to do is pick yourself up a laser. We got a couple options at Stabila. We got our layout station, which is the fastest way to square with one man. It's an auto aligning laser, has a range of 150 feet. Accuracy, 330 seconds at 100. Next one you can use is a traditional rotary laser. The LER 350 is the most durable laser in the industry. Its working range is half a mile. This will do vertical, horizontal, and square. And I'm going to show you two different applications using both lasers. A traditional squaring up, getting started on the outside of the envelope, and then when you come into your interior partition walls, what's the best way to square those most efficiently? Here we go, guys. What we're going to do next, guys, I'm going to show you the LA 180. Outside control lines, getting the envelope squared up on our exterior walls. It's a great way as we've transferred our first floor up, transferred the layout into the inside, working off this edge. I just want to verify that we got this deck square before we start pulling the rest of our dimensions. What's unique about the LA-180 is its ability to set directly in a corner and shoot a beam in two directions. This can't be done with a rotary laser. You can't get it directly over the corner and shoot both angles. This is the LA-180, so what that means, it gives us 180 degrees of beam range. However, for this layout, it's just gonna require a 90 degree layout. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it directly over our corner, and I'm gonna establish our control lines, verifying that this second story deck is square before we pull the rest of the partition lines. I'll show you how we get it set up right now. The other part of it that makes it very unique is this receiver. How you arm the receiver? I'm gonna take that kickstand, snap it directly out, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down these crosshair buttons. What that allows the laser to do is talk to the receiver. As I hold it down, you'll see two lights light up, and you see the crosshairs. Right now, the receiver's talking to the laser, making it auto align. Now I'm gonna go ahead and place the receiver on the second control line. I'm gonna go ahead and arm the receiver. Now the receiver's talking to the laser. What's gonna happen now, the laser's gonna auto line, locking on our control line, establishing this first long run. As the laser sweeps, it's looking to lock on to the receiver. It takes roughly 10 to 15 seconds. But as you could tell by the job site, with job site conditions, it doesn't allow you to always pull that three, four, five, or 30, 40, 50. Now the layout station's locked onto the receiver. We could go pick up our 90 degree layout. We're gonna confirm that the second floor deck here is squared up. We have measured in our five and a half inches on both sides of the walls. Now we're gonna go pick it up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our receiver on the second set of control lines. This is our 90 degree on our short run. What we're verifying is that the second floor layout is square. What we've done is we've measured in five and a half inches. We're gonna verify that this is square. We have an arrow incrementer inside the receiver. It tells me which way we would need to go if I didn't have this control line already established. As I lock on, we've confirmed that this second floor is 100% square. And the reason being, if you remember from our first floor layout, we used the layout station to establish our first floor walls. Plumbing those walls up with our plate level, transferring it up, now we've established that this is square. The envelope, the structure, is perfectly 90 degrees. That's with a layout station. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the LER 350. Interior partition walls, long range control lines. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot in the long side of the building here, and then we're gonna pick up the short span. With the LER350 laying on its side, it allows us to pick up a 90 degree square. So what you're gonna have is you're gonna have your rotary beam this way, and then you're gonna be shooting a dot out, that's gonna pick up the 90. I'm gonna show you the fastest way to set up your laser. If you look at the actual laser, the way I have it set up, I have it established on one control line, and then I'm gonna pick this wall up. If you look, there's an incremented groove right here in the, in the laser head itself. What that determines is exactly where to place this to pick up your 90. That splits the center of the diode. So now you're gonna be dead center this way, and then we're gonna pick up our control line this way. I'm gonna I'm, go ahead and turn on the laser. What it's gonna do, it's gonna go ahead and self-level get up to speed, rotating speed. The reason why that's important, you want to get up to rotation speed because it can pick up the receiver. Bright light conditions, you're not going to see a traditional laser. At a close distance, you might see a red or a green beam. When you get over range, it's going to break down over the ultraviolet light, out in bright sunlight conditions. So you're going to need the receiver. This is our DTAC receiver, which is going to pick up the rotary laser. As you come into motion, 
has an arrow incrementer that's gonna tell me which way to go with a diode, and then it's also gonna give me a solid tone when I'm locked on. To pick up our dot, what I'm gonna use there is I'm gonna use my red reflector card. What this does is makes that dot highly visible outdoors. Has a reflector foil on here. It's a fast and easy way to pick up that dot is our control line. Let's get started. I'm gonna use the remote control. I'm gonna hold down the Y. That steers us left to right. As I twist my wrist, it's gonna move the dot. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna split the dot right on the line to the reflector. This establishes our first control line. Now what we'll do is we'll go pick up the rotation beam using our receiver on the long wall. So now what we're gonna do is pick up our long square using the rotation part of the laser using our receiver. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this down on our second set of walls. This is the long wall going across the back of the house, roughly 120 feet long. So what I'll do is I'll place my receiver directly on the snap line I should have solid tone. That means this wall is perfectly square. We originally did the layout with the LER 350 for the interior partition walls. As I move the receiver left to right, it actually has an arrow increment in there that shows you which way you have to go, left or right of the control line. It's a fast way to establish the square at long range. Remember guys, this has a working range of a half a mile if you're shooting horizontal. What that means is diameter range of the job, place the laser dead center, and you're good to go. Thanks guys.